Hey guys, what's going on? Nasral here. So, I have another class for you guys. This time I have a special class. I have a tubes class. So for those of you that don't know what a tube is, it's literally resistance bands. So you have two different kinds. You have the tube type and the resistance band type. So I'm gonna show you because I have a whole I have a whole setup for you guys here today. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen this before, right? The resistant tubes. And this one's right here is the resistance bands, all right? So I want you to know that they both have a name. One is the bands and the other is the tubes. So today I have a resistant tubes class for you. Whether you have a setup like me, which this is exactly where I'm gonna work today, or you don't have a setup, I'm gonna show you how to do it without obviously having a setup the way I do. Otherwise, maybe the setup that I have can give you some ideas or something that you guys can do at home, whatever it is that you work out. If you have a basement like I do, where my whole basement turned into my, my home gym, Maybe you can turn some of these columns sometimes. These columns that we have here supporting the beams uh, can be actually good for us. In the martial arts world, what we do is we cover them up with uh, like foam and we just use them as a heavy bag to hit. But in this case, I have my own heavy bag, so I don't need to do that. And I did a nice little setup here where I can actually work out. And if I'm working out with a partner or with a client, I can be on one side, my client can be on the opposite side, and it's just amazing, all right guys? So again, those are some ideas that I might be giving you that you might be turning into a, uh, what do you call it, uh, do it yourself, right? Type of thing, DIYs, right? So this whole setup, I would say it will cost me probably, uh, God, this is tough. I would say my entire setup of having everything that I want. I'm talking about just, talking about the, the boards, the, uh, the little latches, the, the, the tubes, and, and I got four setups. So I got four, uh, two, two, um, two columns, and the two, two columns has two setups in the front and two setups in the back, all right? And I also have something on the top where I do my TRX. So I would say the whole entire thing, for me to do an entire body workout, I'm talking about upper body, lower body, core, ev everything that I need, probably cost me about a little, probably less than 500 bucks. All right, which is nice because think about it. I don't need any expensive machines, which I do have. I have a very expensive machine back there. It's like a four thousand dollar machine. I have a, a machine behind you guys. I have all the machines here. I have a spin bike. You know, I have pretty much everything that I need here. But again, this is something that I do. This is part of what I do for a living, right? This is what makes me money. But maybe you're at home. You don't need such a crazy setup. But if you were to spend maybe less than five hundred bucks and doing something simple like this, I think you guys will be okay, honestly, because. You replace most of this stuff, most of this stuff, which I have quite a few weights, you know. You replace most of that stuff, which is actually very, very expensive, you know, because you pay per pound. So when you buy, say, a 250 pound dumbbells, usually you pay about a dollar per pound to a dollar fifty or even a dollar seventy-five per pound. And with the pandemic, people were taking advantage of people, and people were even charging between two dollars and three dollars per pound. So do the math. When you buy an, a 50 pound dumbbell, most people were paying $2 a pound, right? So for each of those dumbbells, you were paying $100. Those two right here in the corner, uh, can you see it? No, this one. Uh, so this is the 40s and this is the 50s. But the 50s that you don't see on that side, that means you would have to pay just for those two. You see those two right here? This two right here? Right there? There's two in the corner right there? Okay, those two alone would have cost you $200. $200 just for those two. Imagine how many you need. You need tens. You need 15, you need 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, do you know what I mean? So a whole setup like that, including the racks, would have cost you already a fortune. That right there probably cost us about almost over $1,500. So what I'm saying to you guys is for something like this, including resistance bands and everything, it's probably the best way to go. So when people ask me for ideas, because Angela and I have gone to a few of our clients' houses, and they have asked us, hey, can you set me up with a gym? Because um, no, I don't feel comfortable going to the gym just yet, and I actually do like working out at home, and I like doing stuff at home. And we set them up with everything, literally where everything, the setup and the few other things that we have, slam balls and, and uh, kettlebells and all the other things that we think is important for you guys to have as a, as a whole to work out, the whole thing will actually cost you probably less than a thousand bucks. So if you have a thousand dollars that says, hey, I can set me up nicely, like pretty, even including the mats, including, you know, a few different things that you can say, I can set me up nicely and have my own home gym where I have absolutely everything that I need to work out. Trust me, there is ways to do it on the literally a thousand bucks, and that includes the setup, uh, that includes the the the, um, the equipment that you are gonna need, it includes absolutely everything. So if you have a thousand dollars laying around that you wanna invest in yourselves for a long run, big, long run, because it's yours, right? You don't have to pay a membership on on it or anything. It's a thousand dollars you're gonna invest once, and believe me, this equipment guys will last you a lifetime. I promise. All right. 
Anyways, this video became a little lengthy, but I feel, I figure, listen, if we're in the fitness and if we're gonna do something together, and if, we, if my job is to educate you when it comes to fitness and making sure that you are at your best when it comes to being physically, mentally, and just looking good as well, feeling amazing, looking amazing, feeling awesome, and just being proud of who you are and how you look. You know what, those things are important. You know, listen, I take pride in absolutely everything I do. I take pride in the way my house looks, the way my house smells, the way our gyms look, the way our gyms smell, the way my car looks, the way my car looks inside. I don't want to throw, you know, what I'm saying is I take pride in absolutely everything that I do. And one of the things that I do take very much pride in, it's my body. Listen, I'm gonna be 50 years old in a few months, and I may not look like better than all the 50 year olds out there, but I promise you, I look better than the average 50 year old. I take pride in doing the best that I can with what I have. And if taking care of myself is part of my job, which is part of everybody's job, then why not? It's a little small investment, and again, guys, I'm not selling you absolutely anything. So please, before you think, okay, what is he gonna hit me with? I'm not hitting you with anything. All I'm telling you is that if you have a few hundred bucks laying around, invest in yourselves, because I promise you, working out at home, sometimes people say, I can't get the motivation that I need. Guys, you don't need motivation from anybody. Who, who needs to change? Who needs to change the body? Who needs to change their appearance? Who needs to look better? And who needs to get healthier? Not anybody else, so what do you care? And you know what, and whether you do it at, at the gym or whether you do it at home, it's still the same exact workout. All you gotta do is just follow the instructions, all right? So either you do it on your own, or you do something like this, where you have me, or have another trainer, or some, somebody online, and you're following their lead, and that's pretty much what you're doing. So at the end of the day, please, 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 I beg you, just take care of yourselves, and do not be afraid, and don't be cheap. Invest in yourselves, invest in your, in your health. Because again, once again, your health, it's your wealth. All right, so I'm gonna spend another two minutes and what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually gonna show you the setup real quick. So I have the setup right here. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, so let me just see because I'm actually moving the entire tripod. So what I did was I got these things right here, which is pretty thick, right? I don't know if you can see the thickness of it, all right? So I bought this in Home Depot, and then I also bought these things in Home Depot as well that hold up to 2,000 pounds. See so these little guys right here? All right, so I have two, and I'm, gonna sh and I'm gonna explain to you guys why I have two. I have two on the top as well, right? I have two right here in the middle, and I have two at the very bottom. Okay, so now when you come on this direction, the two on the top, the reason why I did two, let me show you this, it'll probably be easier. I didn't want just the resistance bands to fall like this. You see what, what it looks like? So I did two, so when I pull on it, it looks this way better instead of just doing one and probably having the risking ruining my resistance band. You see that right now? All right, so two is better. Plus I also wanted the safety of it where I know even though these guys alone can hold you know, a couple thousand pounds, I added two just to make sure that I'm safe, okay? So I did that. All right, so I did two on the top. I did two right here in the middle, and then I did two on the bottom, and the ones in the bottom is for doing different, different workouts, right? So I did the setup right here, right? I did the setup in the front right there, but again, I have two columns. And then on this side, what I did is I did the same exact thing. I got two on the top, I got two in the middle, and then I got two on the bottom, and obviously I use this just to hang my stuff. And then right here on the top, see right here? Again, it's a little tough trying to maneuver the whole tripod with the uh, iPad. You see my TRX strap? So here's my TRX strap right here. So let me just unhook it. Here's my TRX, guys. All right, and this guy right up there, he holds up to 3,000 pounds. So again, this whole setup, which is not very fancy, obviously it's not, it's not a commercial gym, it's just in my house. This whole setup, putting everything together and making sure everything looks good and amazing, this whole setup actually cost me less than 500 bucks. All right, guys? So again, it all depends on what you wanna do, how you wanna do it. And listen, you can, listen, you can buy fancy equipment. I think this camera got all crooked. Okay, it's all messed up. All right, let me just see if I can turn it this way. Okay, so, no, nope, not yet. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if you have thousands and thousands of dollars to do, man, don't even bother doing this shit. 
just go and buy yourself a piece of equipment. I mean, you still gotta put it together, don't get me wrong. Or if you pay a little bit more, they'll put it together for you. But one thing I hate about like some of the equipment at home is that they take so much room and I don't want that. Like I have equipment in the gym, obviously, and I don't want to stop bringing all this stuff at home. I had to be creative and say, all right, what do I really need? Free weights is definitely awesome for you. You want to have free weights. And then the resistance bands are awesome as well because resistance bands offer you amazing, amazing results as well. And it's a different piece of equipment that you can work out with. Because eventually after a while, you do get tired of working out with the same stuff. So working with the resistance bands is an, another way to also work out, mix up things, and act, actually your body appreciates it because it's kind of different, and your body appreciates different, you know, because you don't hit plateaus like that. And then, I, like I said, I have all the machines. I have my kick bike, uh, my back, my my heavy bag for kickboxing. I have a spin bike. I have a um, a squat rack behind you guys with a mirror. See right here, okay. And then obviously I have my car be full of equipment as well. Not that you're gonna need all that stuff because you are not gonna need it. And the reason why I have it is because sometimes I do personal training in my own home. Uh, so again, so things that I think I need, this, this, it's here, it's here in my house. And if you have a little room in your house or somewhere in your house or maybe part of the basement in your house, whatever, I don't know your setup, I don't know where you live. But if you can turn one of the rooms in your house almost like a gym like this, where you have everything. I have a TV, I have an awesome stereo that actually was given by a good friend of mine. And then I have a nice TV because these times where actually I'm just watching the news or I'm just watching other people work out whilst I'm working out, you know? Make it fun, make it convenient, make it yours. Because at the end of the day, it is yours. And it's nice to go to a place in your house, if you have that space, in your house, to be able to work out like this and just feel so comfortable. Listen, you don't have to dress up. All you gotta do is make sure you're safe. Obviously, you can go down in your basement, in your house, and if you have a nice setup, you can work out in your pajamas. One thing that I tell people all the time, please wear sneakers, because sometimes you drop shit, and not that the sneakers is gonna prevent much of a, a big plate falling on your toes, but I don't know, just feel safer. <laughs> but then again, like I say, it's all about safety. Anyways, that's it. I'm actually gonna stop this video and I'm actually gonna record a class for you guys using this setup. So this is gonna be like a two-part video type of thing. Video number one is doing this, showing you exactly what I did. And video number two is actually doing the actual workout. So I apologize for making this video a little longer than I thought. I didn't think it was gonna be this long. But hopefully this information I just gave you, hopefully it's good for you guys. Hopefully I gave you some ideas for you guys to do at home. And if you have any, um, if you have any questions, please put it down in the comments below and I'll try to help you out the best that I can. All right? All right, guys, talk to you soon. Until next time, see ya.